Good morning everyone, this is David Nguyen from Eyebrows Academy, the one-man microblading show on the web. Alright, today I'm going to show you some head strokes patterns, yeah? In previous videos, I have to show you how to do the head strokes, okay? And the thing to remember from the last video is that the last head stroke, the last stroke, that means stroke number four, you need to achieve at least 20 to 30 degrees of inclination, yeah? And if you don't achieve that angle, no sweat. Just look at the red ones over there, yeah? The red one down there? The red uh, strokes right there? Basically, you just add in some more strokes to achieve the angle before you do the transition strokes. So in this video here, I'm going to show you some hair stroke patterns that I learned, that I play around, not learn, yeah? That I play around. Well, we already know how to do the basic one, yeah? Okay, I'm just going to recap it. So we learned the basic number one. It's going like this. Basic one, it's going like this. One is the shortest one, two is longer, three longer, and four like that. Okay, just one, two, three. And then you go back, and then you, you know, you fill the gap here. You know, you fill one here, two there. And three there, something like that. Yeah, very basic head stroke pattern, and it doesn't look nice. Yeah, I learned it from my uh, my first class, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I learned. Okay, so let's let's just play around a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one I call basic number two. Again, this one it goes something like this. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, and after you achieve the angle that you need, you do the transition stroke like this. One, two, and then three, and then you draw the spine like that. And of course, lower stroke you can do like this. You see what I'm saying? And here, the upper stroke, you start right there, okay? This is where you start your, your upper stroke, okay? This one this one right here, you start the upper stroke. So this is the head stroke pattern. This is another one, okay? So let's move to the next one. I don't know. I'm just going to write here. That's this one, number three. And the way you do it like this, you stack the stroke up. This is the pattern, one, two, three, pattern one. Two, three, yeah. One, two, and then three. One, two, and then three. And again, here you have some gap here. Feel free to go back and fill up some stuff like that. Okay, just one, two, three, one, two, three like that, and you fill up. Okay. Now number four. Let's do number four. Okay. Just a variation of you know of number two, but there's some. So this is how you do it. The first stroke go opposite direction. Yeah, you go one like that. Okay. And then you do two like that. And then three you can do like this. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Transition stroke. Okay, here if you want to, you can add something right here. Okay. Add something like that. Okay. Yeah, feel free, folks. Feel free to add in the strokes that you like. Yeah, just add it in. All right, I'm going to show, show you some. Let's do number five. And this one is called like wing or something. Yeah, let's do number five. I'm just showing you some stuff that you, you know, just try to give you some, uh, some stuff to think about. Yeah, for number five, I can do something like this. For head stroke, I do one long one, one. Two transition stroke, you know, head stroke start, upper stroke start right there, and this is the where you draw the spine. Yeah, can you see? Just like that. And here, folks, here now, let's add something fun. Yeah, let's add something fun. Okay, if you right hand it, I just rotate, rotate my stuff around here. You see one right there? I just right. So you just get right behind the client, yeah, and then you add in the opposite stroke. Just like that. One, 
add in some more, add in some more, add in some more. Now look at that, beautiful, okay. I'm going to rotate it again. Okay, here's what we just did, you see. Sometimes just use your imagination, yeah. Just go to the other side, add in some stroke, and then you see some gap right here. Add in some more stroke to fill it up, okay. You want something straighter? For sure, let's do number six. Do number six here. Okay. Number six, make it look straighter. You see? Just do it straighter, like that. Okay, and then transition stroke. Add whatever you want, so whatever you want to do, okay? Just add whatever you want to do. So here, I just show you some patterns, yeah? And actually, whatever you want to do, folks, just the thing is, whatever you do on one side, you have to be consistent on the other side, yeah? If you do, let's say, like number six here, you better do the same thing on the other brows, okay? The main, the main thing about this, the patterns for the hair stroke is that consistency, consistency, okay? You have to be consistent. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side, yeah? Okay, let's play around a little bit. So we have one, two, three. Let's see one right there. One is very ugly. Two is okay. Three is all right. Four is okay. Five, six. Okay, I'm just playing around. Give you some ideas, okay? Okay, don't learn from me. Play, just play, okay? Don't take things too seriously. What I'm doing here is I give you some ideas, okay? Give you some ideas so that you can create your own styles, yeah? Create your own, okay? That's fun, create your own. All right. All right, let's think of something. Oh, let's do some clamshell, yeah? How about this? You position your hand so that it goes to the left side more. Okay, ready? One, two, three. You see how you curve? One, two, three. One, two, three, just like that, you know? Just something like that. This drop here a little bit broken, but you got my idea. Yeah, just be consistent. Yeah, just one, two, three, one, two, three. Let us do over here. Go on the other side. Do the same thing. Okay. How about something more straighter? Yeah. Let's do number eight. Yeah. You want straight? A lot of Korean style now. They want straight. Okay, give them straight. Straight up and then curve. Yeah, straight up and then curve, straight up and then curve, something like that. Okay, and then go whatever you want to do. Transition stroke, something like that. And here, there's some gap right here, why not? Add in something straight and like this. You know, do whatever you want, folks, do whatever you want, okay? Do whatever you want, all right? Okay, and now you want fractal? Okay, let's do fractal. Okay, fractal, repeat from the head to the tail, but here I just add the one, two, three pa uh, fractal pattern, yeah, for the head stroke. Let's say here's your head stroke. One, two, three on top, like that. One, two, and then three. One, two, and then three. One, two, and then three. You see? Ta-da! Let's do number 10. All right, I show you the view, yeah? Just show you some stuff, just for fun, folks. Just for fun, play around with it, you know? Go to the left, go to the right, straight curve. How about wiggling? Why not wiggling? What's wrong with wiggling? Who cares? Let's do some wiggling stuff just for fun. Let's do this. Number 10. Number 10, the wiggly warm earthworm. All right, let's do some S curve for the head stroke. Ready? All right. Now we need to do some, something like this, yeah? Ready? Wiggly warm, wiggly warm. OK, 
can do whatever I want. Ta-da! All right, now let's fill it in a little bit, yeah? Fill it in a little bit, folks. What do you guys think? Huh? What? You have stray, you have curve, now you have some wiggly warm sales curve there for the head stroke. Who cares? We have fun, right folks? That's right. Wow, so I show you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Ta da! You see, we can add some more strop right there, you know? Feel it in, feel it in, folks. All right, it's on long. It's more than 11 minutes of your time. And I'm going to show you probably one more. Oh, this is the fractal stuff, yeah? Let's do the opposite, uh, the improved version of number nine, right here. All right, I don't have much space here. Just try to get some space right here. All right, instead of going strip one like this, apply the patterns, going like that. What do you guys think? That's for the hair strop. Here, if you want to, add something opposite like that to fill up the gap. All right, whatever way you want, folks. Whatever way you want, yeah. Just do it, yeah, just do it, okay? Just do it. And I'm going to show you some of the pictures. This is very, very old things that I did in the past. Yeah, I still keep some notes. Yeah, this is very old one, hair strops. Number one there, number four. This one should be wing or swing, I don't know. Yeah, number two, number three, you know. I have crazy things. I have a lot of crazy things I want to show you. Oh, what did I do here? Four months ago. Oh, this is some fractal stuff. This is some fractal stuff, yeah? Fractal stuff, and then you can fill up some of the upper stuff. Anyway, oh, let me show you this one, yeah? What is this thing here? Aha, uh -huh. fractal, fractal, folks, fractals, okay. Very old stuff that I did. But today I show you something fun, yeah? You don't have to, you don't have to do any of this, yeah? Just create your own. What I'm showing here, just give you some ideas, folks, some ideas. So that you can play around with it, yeah? Play around with it and have fun, okay? Play around and have fun, folks, have fun. Have fun, okay? It's really, really hard to, to have a chance to do something nice and beautiful in life. Yeah, so just have fun, right? One, two, that's ten right there. Three and four right there. Five right there. Six right there. Seven, eight, nine, and whatever. This is eleven. Whatever, yeah? All right. Well, thank you so much. This is David Nguyen from Eyebrows Academy. Yeah. If you want to support me, sometimes I have classes, you know. And we have one event in Vancouver, Washington coming up next month. It's a fundraising event for Carly Rose. Hopefully you guys can come join me. Yeah, fly in, join me, and, you know, donate some money to uh, Car Carly's uh, recovery fund. Yeah, she got into an accident. Yeah, very bad accident. All right, and we just try to help her out with her medical expenses. So I would appreciate if you can join me in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, in, uh, oh, actually, that's one August 5th and August 6th. Yeah, August 5th, 6th, 2017. Okay, I hope to see everyone there. Well, thank you so much, and bye-bye.